You, you hit that though. <laughs> it's just me and Max <laughs> in the cut. <laughs> we don't give two shits and we don't give a fuck. It's <laughs> what we do. Ain't shit to prove. We living life. Living life to the max. Living life. Living life to the max. To the max. Just like my bad guess. <laughs> All right, all right, world. We are back on Life to the Max. We got Elias pulling up yes. the good agua. Como se dice what you're drinking? Salud. This is agua mineral. Aquí. All right, all right. Everyone right. says that shit's all right, water. All right, all right. If y'all didn't notice, this is Elias. Usually he got the, the guitar with him shredding that shit. He came rolling in with a special guest, his cousin Leo. Technically, yes. He the first man on the show with a fro. Uh oh. And last but definitely not least, it's the quad father. If y'all ain't noticed something different about the quad father, he ain't got no motherfucking headrest. He out here, <laughs> he out here free heading it. Is that, is that, that's not even. I'm not even gonna say that ever. Oh, it's not right. Yes. Pause. He free head. Not gonna say that ever. Again. He free doing but yo, something. Leo came in unannounced. Yo. It's to our surprise, but that's the beauty of the show. Everybody and anybody's invited to tell their story and share their story. Unannounced, so, but I brought presents. I brought presents. You brought presents with yeah. open arms. We put I got some goodies. Right after the intro, we're going to dive into his interview, Max. Paralyzed from a neck down, breathing through a machine, but that doesn't stop me from following my dreams and doing what I love to do. I don't got any excuse and neither should you. Let's get into this. Every time oh, yeah. you say it, it gives me chills, man. Let's go. Every time you it kind of stopped me a little bit. Kind of stopped me a little bit. No. But come on Fuck with yeah, it, man. man. Uh, We're gonna keep it real up in this, right? Uh, All right, that's what's up. So, so I gotta ask the first question, Leo. Since I just met you, yeah. How, you? how did you end up? How'd you end up in the wheelchair? Man, long story short, I was shot four times in my back. You were shot? Yes. Were you running sir. away? No, I wasn't. I was. I was actually trying to get home from a party, from a birthday party. So I got hit by in the drive by shit. All right, <clears throat> that's basically it. Long story short, I was trying to get. We were partying at my friend's birthday party, and we left at three in the morning. And uh, I was. Where are you? We were in the west side of Chicago. Uh. Yo, the people want to hear the long story. Yeah. All right, well, we're here for the long story. <laughs> People want to hear the long yeah, story. The long story. <laughs> let me, let me, All right, well, let yeah, me explain. Let me, let, me, let, like that let, me, let me explain something to you, okay? What's good? You Uh-oh. can hit someone's life like that. I can't snap my fingers. But you can. <laughs> like you, that. You can literally hit someone's life like that. I Tell believe when you say hit you someone's know. life, you mean like influence. Influence. Like like oh, you mean like impact, right now? Yes. Like with my story? Yes. Uh, so there are maybe a thousand. I don't know. There are a lot of people listening to our podcast. So yeah. help someone. Shit. All right. I'm going to keep it real. It's kind of hard to talk about because I, really I didn't even really talk about it in therapy. So I'm just going to go through it the way I'm going to go through it. You know okay. what I'm saying? You like to so, keep it natural. Yeah. Mm. You ain't going to force nothing. No. All right. Fuck, I don't know how to... I'll start from the beginning. The night started, we were supposed to go to a Wu-Tang concert. We went to a Wu-Tang concert, right? It was two, two artists that were performing. They canceled one of the artists, and they, uh, they asked us, do you want a refund, or do you want to see the artist that, that's going to perform? So everybody decided they want a refund. So I'm like, all right, we're going to get a refund. Am I been in that situation going? Yeah, so everybody, you know what I'm saying, they decided we're going to get a refund. What we want to do, my guy's girlfriend is like, oh, we want to go to Mojay's house, right? Mojay's, uh, my dad's friend. I mean, my dad's, uh, my friend's dad. So we're like, let's go to Mojay's. He's like, let's go to Mojay's house. And I'm thinking, damn, Mojay's house again? I want to go over there, man. All we do is get fucked up there. Huh? We get drunk, you know what I'm saying? Whatever. So... So you already had the bad feeling. Man, I didn't want to go over there because we were doing that every weekend, every weekend. And I'm like, man, I do my drugs. They do their drugs. And I'm not really happy and shit. I didn't want to do that. Feel you. We went anyways. So whatever. And uh, mind you, too, I got an addiction. You know what I'm saying? I got a history with addiction. That's something that, some, 
Man, that's another whole another story. Right. The long story with that is we were at, at the at the party, right? I already know the West Side, whatever. I know where we at. I'm going around looking for uh man, I'm looking for drugs, man. Me and my friend, you know what I'm saying, it's his dad's house. Mm-hmm. We used to live in the basement. Whatever. I'm going around, I'm looking for what I'm looking for. We don't find it. The crazy thing about it is that his girlfriend's like, uh, come on. Stop walking around. And I'm getting mad because I'm like, man, I know this nigga, man. Whatever. You know what I'm saying? She's like, stop walking around and shit. People are out out and you don't get shot. I'm like, man, whatever, man. I'm good at doing this. Man, we go. Long story short, man, we're, man, we're, oh, I keep saying that. But anyways, we're inside the house. And uh, I'm already high. I never give my drugs, but I'm high. Right? I'm already intoxicated. Uh-huh. My friend... He decides to go in the bathroom and do his drugs. So we end up leaving late. His girlfriend's bitching at him. She said, let's go, let's go. I'm like, man, whatever. Late like three in the morning? Man, I don't even remember. It was like two, three in the morning. All I could tell you was I was on the couch. I was uh, kind of passed out. The birthday boy wanted to keep going. The night was over with. So we leave. We take the birthday boy with us because he want to keep going. We're like, nah, nigga, you coming with us. So we leave. And I tell my guy, I go, hey, Tony, don't let her drive. Just like that, flat out in front of everybody, man. You know what I'm saying? Loud. I go, hey, man, don't let her drive, bro. Tony, man. She hears me. I'm like, man, fuck it. Whatever. Let's get in this motherfucker. We going. We get in the car. So who's driving? Man, she's driving. You know what I'm <laughs> oh, saying? Because my guy don't want to drive. And he likes doing this shit. You know what I'm saying? But whatever, nigga. You know what I'm saying? He fucking lets her drive. So I'm like, uh. Jacob, you know what I'm saying? That's the birthday boy. He gets in the, in the seat, you know what I'm saying? He gets in the passenger seat. We're in the back. My guy gets in the, in the front. He passes out. Jacob passes out. I'm like, fuck it. I'm going to follow suit. You know what I'm saying? We're going to go home. And the funny thing about it is like, man, we're going to go home. I got a bag of drugs, you know what I'm saying, at home. Let's go. So I pass out. I'm, I'm not enough. I wake up because the car wakes me up. You know what I'm saying? She's driving all erratically. And uh, I wake up, she's like, um, I don't know what's going on. She's like, you see, that's why I didn't want to leave all late. Oh, what the fuck? They're chasing us. They got guns. They got guns. And uh, I don't know what the fuck was going on. So I get up, man, because she's moving the car. The car's swerving. I'm like, man, she's going to flip us over. You know what I'm saying? I already got into an accident. You know what I'm saying? I'm thinking this. I already got into an accident before in this Honda I totaled the Honda. I went to the hospital because I fractured over here. And they told me, if it would have been closer, you would have been paralyzed. Damn. So I'm thinking, bro, this bitch is going to flip us over. Whoever's chasing us, they're going to catch us. If she flips us over, they're going to light us up. So I don't know what the fuck is going on. So I'm like, Janice, chill. Stop. Stop. There ain't nobody chasing us. Stop. I look back. We're at the stop sign. I look back. Man, I was dead wrong, man. I was dead ass wrong. I, I look back. Jacob goes, a car. I heard him say a car. I go, what? I look, and sure enough, man, there was a man that just pulled up a fucking car. What I think, what I remember, it was an Oldsmobile. You know what I'm saying? Because I work on cars, too. So I, I, it looked like a white Oldsmobile, a Bravada, whatever the fuck. I'm, I'm not sure. But that man, they pull up, and there's two, hand, there's two guns hanging out the back seat, man. There's two fucking hands like that. I just look at it like that. Bah, 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 man, they just open up, they open fire. That's simple. They open, shots. Well, they opened fire. I remember. So, wait, wait, so you were in the car? Man, we were in shot? the car when he got shot. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, yeah, I was in the car. They pulled right next to us. Uh-huh. So did you get hit right away or did you duck and hear some Man, shots? Man, no, I got hit right away. I got hit right away. As soon as they opened fire, I remember the first one got hit. I got hit in the, in the arm and it was like were, a thump. It felt like, a, like side to side. What, the car? Yeah, they came. Yeah. They pulled up right in the turning lane. We were at the, at the parking. We were at the, at the light. And uh, I don't know, so I guess. You said the first one hit your arm and then what? Man, yeah, the first one came and hit my arm. And I remember inside, I was like, no. And uh, man, the first one hit my arm. And then I just remember another one hitting my, uh, my back. And I remember another thump. It said, thump. And I heard, uh, I guess, my spinal cord snap. That's what it felt like. And as soon as that happened, I felt that my legs go numb. It just, boom. Right away, man. I knew. I knew right away I was paralyzed. Then nobody had to tell me nothing. The doctors didn't say, have to tell me nothing. None of that. I knew right away. I didn't want to say nothing. So 
if, before I ask you to continue the story from after you got hit, like, and, and how things happened since then, I want to ask you about that, that fight or flight feeling. As soon as those shots started going off, you know, what was, what was your first thoughts in that situation? Man, my first, look, that was it. My first, man, I told my friend too. I said no, and then I turned to him. Check this what? out. I ended up turning to him, and in my head, I go, uh, I'll die for you. Man, I told him I'll die for you and shit because prior to that, we were talking about it. It had, came, it had to come up because this is my long, I, I've known this guy since I was 13. Mm -hmm. It had to come up before that. His cousin was like, for real, you guys would die for each other? And my thing is like, man, I'll prove it. You know what I'm saying? I don't like to talk about that shit. Dang, you know so what I'm saying? In that moment that you thought about that moment. Man, in that moment, I just try. I remember, man, because I also remember jerking. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, damn. I got hit more than, I go, it was more than once. In my head, I'm like, I turn around, I go, it's more than once. I go, they're raining on us. Like, they're raining bullets. It won't stop. <sighs> then I turn, and I remember I saying, I'll die for you. And I didn't want to say nothing. I didn't want to say anything because I knew I was paralyzed. I knew if I were to say nothing, they'd panic. But uh, after it was over, my, my friend turned around. He's like, anybody hit? I didn't really want to say nothing. I go, Damn. I'm leaking, I told him. I go, I'm leaking, Tony. I'm leaking bad. And, uh, yeah, man, they take off and shit. I don't really want to talk about that, but she took off, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, yeah, it was kind of fucked up. They're right over there. So were you the yeah. only one that got hit? Yeah. And, and after they sprayed up the car, they pulled off and then... Was, man, after they sprayed the, the car, I don't know what happened. All I know is she took off. Run. She took off. They never found them. Like they a, never found them? Nah, I don't It's know. like a different type of... No, nah, I don't. Even, I, didn't, I didn't even got questioned about that shit. The cops never questioned me. I got interrogated while I was laying down. Damn near dying. You know what I'm saying? They're like, man, what happened? Don't lie to it's us. They probably thought you we're not the police. Man. Look, man. I'm gonna tell you right now, man. I'm 41. I keep saying that shit, man. You know what I'm saying? But that's just because I born and raised in Chicago. You know what I'm saying? The 90s. That's some 90s shit right there. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's some 90s shit right that's there. Crazy. That's some. That's some. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm. People don't like for me to say that shit. But it hurts you to fucking hear it. It hurts me to live through that shit. You know what I'm saying? That's some 90s shit. In the 90s, whatever, the cops didn't give a fuck. I mean, Bro, I was the 90s. Man, hold it, yeah, the 90s, man, they didn't give a fuck. The cops didn't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? Uh, whatever. It's complicated, but look, <clears throat> when, I, when I was shot, they wanted basically, because the cops were supposed to be out. They didn't do shit. So they wanted kind of, they wanted to be that they were killing each other is what they want to hear. They want to hear that I was game banging, that the ops came up to me. It ain't shit nothing like that, man. Mm -hmm. I can't even tell you. I, I, so man, you're 41 now. How old were you at the time? Man, I was 37. Oh, so this wasn't that long ago. Oh, uh -huh. you cry. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? So the, the fucked up thing about it is that I'm laying there and I, they're like, what happened? We're not the police. You don't have to lie to us. And I'm sitting there like, I don't know. Well, my people came... You know what I'm saying? To the house, but I'm like, why? Why? I kept asking, why? I'm like, what the fuck happened, bro? You know what I'm saying? But the police, it's fucked up because I see the police behind the partition. There was a little partition and I could see the, the police sitting there and he's waiting to hear what he wants to hear. Because this happened in the west side of Chicago. You know what I'm saying? There was plenty of cameras. I mean, they're trying to clean it up to make it like, you know, Starbucks and like nice condos. So, yeah. Uh, I mean, yeah, they're probably trying it's, to let you see guys what kill happens, each other. See, what happens with Chicago is Chicago's corruption city, bro. With a K. With a K, yeah. With a K, bro. That's how I say it, man. It's corruption city, and it goes to the highest bidder. That's just how it goes, man. Mm. That's how it is. That's how Chicago works. Yeah, because the West Side wasn't good seven years ago, but it's starting man. to clean up. Like, it's not as bad no, as I've been was. fucking with the West Side for 16 years. If you was fucking with me on the West Side, you're going to hear it. You know what I'm saying? If you can't get that shit through your head, I'm going to tell you how naughty by nature said it, man. You know what I'm saying? If you've never been to the ghetto, don't ever go to the ghetto. You know what I'm saying? Because you ain't going to understand the ghetto. So stay the fuck out the ghetto. Yeah. I fucking, that shit would go through my head all the time. And I didn't grow up in the ghetto. Nigga, they be, I'd be sitting there and be like, man, how the fuck I learned all this shit by fucking around? But I'm telling you right now, when I was doing what I was doing, man, I never got shot. But the moment, it, 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 it's, it's fucked up, man. You know what I'm saying? But then... I don't know. I was just trying to get home from a party, bro. Yeah, it could happen anytime. Waking you know up saying? from a nap or wild I, napping. I got a history, but that don't mean I should fucking be in a wheelchair, bro. 
You should have been out patrolling, mm -hmm. but they weren't. Mm -hmm. And that's pretty much it. I got shot trying to come home from a party. I got shot well, four times. Um, but well, what was the after in the hospital? Yeah, man, it uh, sucked. When I got to the hospital, then my, my friend was, he was going to take me out of the car. But as soon as he took me out of the car, my arm bent back and I started screaming. So I grabbed him. He's like, you want me to grab somebody? You want me to grab somebody? I go, yeah, get somebody. The security guard came. He put me on a wheelchair and I kept telling him, I go, I, go, I can't hold myself up. I'm going to fall. I'm going to fall. I can't hold myself up. I didn't know how bad it was. Man. They started cutting all my stuff off. They started cutting my, my clothes off. They, uh, they're asking for permission. I'm like, man, cut it. Cut it. I'm screaming, man. I'm like, you know, like Jesus Christ, what the fuck? Jesus. We're talking about paramedics. Huh? The, the ambulance. Yeah, when I was okay. at the hospital. Okay, were, when you were at the hospital. Yeah, because they don't know what, they got to check everything. You know what I'm saying? I'm bleeding. They got to see how many shots I were. They got to see the damage. But uh, yeah. I remember the, the nurse, she grabbed my arm. Because, man, I was screaming. My arm was hurting. remember her grabbing the arm, my arm and putting the bone together. When right. she put the bone together, oh, I was like, I was thinking, I was like, oh, please don't let go. Please don't let go, man, because it was hurting, man. But I felt her grab the bone. And she put the bone together. And then she passed, because she was quarterbacking the whole thing. So she grabs my arm, and she passes it to the, like, the nurse next to me. And then she, he was grabbing it, but I guess he grabbed it too soft. And she goes, no. <clears throat> she pressed his arm, man. He again pressed my arm. He put it back together. And I'm like, oh, please don't let go. Please don't let go, man. I'm telling you, man. I was screaming that I was just, I went from screaming to crying. When you got to the hospital, was anybody with you in the waiting room? Man, my, uh, my friend's father was there, Mojang. That nigga was there like a month. I kept asking him, why, why? And he, didn't, he didn't know what happened, man. But yeah, they, my sister ended up there because uh, it was Mojang. And then my friend's uh, cousin, Tangi, she was like, do you want to call anybody? And uh, I forgot who I called. I called them, I think my sister or my brother. But my sister showed up. And she was kind of arguing with, with Mojay because she didn't know who he was. Mm -hmm. And they thought he was my dad or whatever, but he was the first one there. So they were telling him that. And my sister's like, no, I'm his sister. And that's it, man. I was just laying there. They got me, I guess, stable. As much as they could get me because they didn't have a, a, a trauma section there, which was kind of fucked up because in the meantime, that's when they were, they were interrogating me. And I didn't know I had my lung had got shot too. So my lung was filling up with, with blood too at the, at the time. Dang. That was kind of fucked up. Yeah. And they were taking their time. They didn't give a fuck. Because they, they had to wait for another ambulance to take me to another hospital where they had the trauma unit or whatever the fuck. And it took you a long time? They were waiting. For, where did you go? Northwestern? Uh, I forgot. I think it was Northwestern or so. It was, uh, I forgot what hospital it was. Were man. you like uh, in it, the city? It, yeah, it was a nice hospital. Yeah. It was a nice hospital. It's probably Northwestern Rush or Loyola. No, I think it was Northwestern. Northwestern. Yeah, yeah. yeah nice. One nice. of those and shit. Then when th the doctor came in and like told you you were paralyzed, how did you feel? Man, I don't remember them telling me I was paralyzed, really. I mean, you said you already knew, right? So you yeah. didn't have to ask. I didn't even, I didn't, I didn't, I never asked. I yeah, never asked. So let me tell you a little about me. Yeah. It's good. So yeah. you asked me right before the podcast. Yeah. You were like, what happened to you? What do you think happened to me? You probably think I got shot. I can, right? yeah. yeah. No, I didn't get shot. I was uh, doing everything right. Uh, it's kind of like you. You were going home, you know, you went. You didn't want to go to Moji's house. You wanted to go home, you know, do your drugs. You know, that's fine. I, I was doing everything right. I, uh, I was in the military. I was um, getting ready to deploy to Afghanistan. And uh, it was my birthday. The, the week, it was the week of my birthday. And at the end of the week, I, I was able to go home for four days. Because we, we, you get something called a four-day pass, right? Mm -hmm. So I go home with a friend of mine, our soldier, and um, I remember saying, can I drive last? But then I was like, no, fuck that. I want to wake up to my hometown, you know? I, and it was like, okay, fine. So I drove halfway. I drove halfway, and then we switched seats. I leaned the seat back, and I'm like, all right, wake me up when we get to Chicago. Three days later, I wake up to this bright 
white room with just doctors all around me and family around me. And I can't talk. I can't move. I can't feel. I can't breathe. That's how, that's how it hit me. Damn, yeah. three days later? You woke up three days later? I was in a coma. Damn. And what you saying? When he, he skipped the part where he got into a car accident because the driver oh, also shit. fell asleep. Yeah, but <laughs> the driver also I mean, fell asleep. Thought yeah. it was a slumber he party. He was getting there. He was getting there. Damn it! <laughs> that, no, I, I, I totally <laughs> missed it. Yeah, he, he, uh, just, he fell asleep and flipped the car, and, the, and that's like literally what happened. And the roof collapsed yeah. on Max while roof he was collapsed. Yeah, yeah, and I was sleeping. And the he doctor was- said if uh, if uh, I didn't have my seat down. They would have been like, you would have been decapitated, you know. But now I'm dealing with this. I'm 20 years old, right? I just turned 20. March 21st was my birthday. March 24th was the accident. This was in 2016. Okay. Hey, hey you don't, ma'am, you don't, add, you don't feel sometimes that you, you, you got decapitated? Like in a way, because I'm going to keep it real. Bro. I'm going to keep it real. When I got shot, you know what I'm saying? I knew it was bad. Man, and I kept telling myself, one thing that I, I told myself, I was like, if I go numb, I'm going to go with it. I'm just going to go to sleep. Whatever happens, happens. I know they're going to take care. I know they're not going to leave me on the street and let me die in the street. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But you were just going to give it so to I, so I, No, I was going to give in to it. I was gonna, if I was going to go, man, I kind of didn't want to live like this. Oh. So, so I, I kind of had a really, really eerie and... Uh, shadowy kind of like in the accident i woke up in the accident just for a little bit like to like literally probably like a minute and i all i saw were just fluttering lights you know like which are you know red and white i mean red and blue lights you know sirens you know that's all i saw and all i was doing was this you couldn't talk because i couldn't talk i couldn't yeah. breathe you know and um, I, uh, I was just telling, I, I, I didn't even know what to do. My body was in shock. I couldn't move. I was trying to move, you know, and I couldn't. And then I, uh, I went to sleep and I, uh, actually was pronounced dead and I saw the white light and I've asked a few people if they've seen the white light and they yeah. haven't. Yeah, I both, see no that shit. I guys, see no white light. Both of you guys. I mean, Max stayed asleep, but you went to sleep and just woke up to the chaos. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's yeah. crazy that, you know, shit, shit you know, can hit the I fan after taking yeah. a nap. But, yo, I got a question for both you guys, and I want, I want Leo to answer it first and Max to answer it second. You've been in the for four years, right? Yeah. Max has been in, his, in yours for seven? Almost eight, yeah. Almost eight. So if you guys were to go back in time and give yourself advice right when that freshly happened... What would you say to yourself? Before that happened. When it freshly happened, you laying in the hospital bed, paralyzed. I already know. What would you say to yourself, Leo? Shit, I don't even know. Man. If it would freshly happen now, knowing what I know now. Yeah, knowing what you know now. If you went back in time and seen yourself in the hospital bed. Ah, uh, man, asking you why. even ask me that shit, man. You're better off dead, nigga. <laughs> Are you asking yeah. me that now? Yeah, that's yeah. what I'm trying to ask, but I'm still not there. I can't, I, man. I know. When I, I got shot, I, I was ready to fucking die, bro. That's why he kind of said, "Man, I'll die for you." Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, if man, if you ask me that, I'd be like, "Man, nigga, you better off dead and Cold. shit." Cold. <laughs> this shit, this shit sucks, man. Fuck. What would you What would you say, Max? Or since I wasn't getting shot at, uh, I think at the gas station when I first was about to drive, like. Like when we first left the base, I I would have drove first. That's what I would have done. I would have said like and said, you know what? Actually, I'll drive first, and then you can. No, yeah, no, I'm not I, saying go back in time right before the accident. No, yeah, I know what you're talking. I don't. That's the hardest. I'm, I, I, I'm saying go back in time as soon as you feel the news of the weight on your shoulders. Like this isn't real. You know, like I'm paralyzed. What? You know, like going back to that max when. When they told you you're paralyzed. What would you tell that person? Yeah. It's going to be a long, 
long, yeah. long fucking road. <sighs> Shit, it's gonna yeah. be a long road. You're gonna be dealing with endless nights of sleep. You're gonna be dealing with endless depression. You're gonna be dealing Shit. with so many things. You're gonna be dealing with stuff that's that doesn't even like partake with your uh, with your uh, like disability. You're gonna be dealing with mental shit. You're gonna be dealing oh, with yeah. emotional shit. You're gonna be dealing shit. with relationships. You're gonna be dealing with uh, deception. You're gonna everything. You're gonna be like you're you're gonna be a target. But just make the best of it. I mean, that's what I would tell myself. I'm, I'm gonna say you're gonna go through. A lot of stuff. You're not going to be able to talk for like a month, 15 days. You know, your your a your girlfriend's going to fucking leave you. Yeah. You know. Oh, uh, man, shit. I was and fucking my nurse and shit. Huh? <laughs> Bro, I miss that man. Yes. I'm gonna keep it real, bro. Hey, bro I was dating my nurse. So yeah, man, cool. you know what I'm saying? She was uh, sitting on my face and everything. Man. <laughs> Me too. She sat on my shit, but I couldn't feel it. So I'm like, man, so, nigga, I like eating pussy. So, but that's how uh, she ended up. Things you and Max have in common. She ended up being on some bullshit too, bro. <laughs> no, just, she ended up being on some bullshit too. But yeah. I'm grateful for that because I learned from that. You know what I'm saying? Y'all want to talk about y'all nurses? Yeah, let's talk about the nurse. <laughs> ain't, ain't much to my, say. On. My nurse, I wasn't fucking her, but uh, like it's kind of it's it's not like you, okay? Because I was still really really fragile at the time. Like if anyone like touched me, I, they could break a bone or something. Oh, you know, yeah. bit, so I was, but I was dating uh, a nurse. I'm not gonna say her name. With a, but let's call her Stacy or something. Yeah. You know, I was dating her, and I would go through these <laughs> like Stacey PTSD. Too. I'd go through the PTSD, and she was a night nurse, and she would always stay by my side and like you know like um rub, rub my hair and like kiss me and stuff like that. And that oh, that yeah. always that always helped that me always forget helped. Yeah. For, forget about you know the accident. And shout out to Stacy. If Man. she's watching, and uh, it helped me out yeah. too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and it good. was uh, it was like a month or two after my girlfriend broke up with me, a girl that I thought I was gonna marry. So yeah. it was um, broke your uh, heart. Shit, it does. Shit, she got happens fired. to the best of us. She got fired, and I'm bogus because I stopped talking to her. I stopped. I started talking to someone else. Yeah. I don't talk to and I'm my paralyzed exes. from the neck down, and I and I'm just like, you know what? Actually, I'm gonna go with someone else. You know, like, what? Like, I got options. And, yeah, man. Get I don't curve. feel bad, and I don't talk to none of my exes because I got my heart broken plenty. So whatever, uh, I just move on. So, so when you were at the hospital, did you get a lot of visitors? Oh man, I hated that, man. You hated visitation? Oh man, cause I, when I. When I first it's not got shot, person, okay, visitation. Uh, yeah, I'm, it's still visitation, bro. No, yeah, you get that they they come the and way visit you. you. Said it though, like but, you, you so, hated visitation. Uh, yeah, I did. Cause no, yeah, when I first got yeah. shot, it was hard to hear everybody. Like it took a lot out of me. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Everybody coming in and out. Everybody yeah. talking to you. Like, I want you're gonna get through this. It's gonna be great. Have it, like, like I, just just have faith man, and this and that. I, like you're gonna be good. And, and then on social media, all the people are probably blowing you yeah, up. Yeah, well, no. You're be good. See, what people don't understand is it takes energy to listen to people. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like it's exhausting. It's exhaust. Like I talk a lot. You know, you know what I'm saying? And I'll exhaust you. So imagine you ain't got energy. I ain't got energy. I like in my head, I'm like, oh my God, I'm trying to get through. I'm trying to, you know what I'm saying? Like I wanted somebody to lift me up. Cause I was in pain, man. My back felt like I had a hole in it and it was burning. So I had to get through all that. And then people, you know what I'm saying? They kept talking. And my mom was like, oh, the people in the church, they just not want to say this. They don't want to say that. And I kept telling my sister, I was like, E, that's it, man. Tell mom, no, no. I had my uh, my god sister came and she was like, oh, you know, we, we think about you and blah, 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 she was saying. And I know what she was trying to tell me, but in the back of my mind, I just, man, I just want to tell her, man, just shut the fuck up and leave, bro. Yeah. Just leave. Everybody leave, yeah. man. Yeah. It just, 
not, not that. That was different for me. Yeah. Sometimes I was like that, but sometimes I was like, I, I want to like you know talk to these people. But do you know how hard it was not talking for fifteen days to someone? Like yeah. not like just asking to scratch your head, and you have to like like try to explain it yeah. for like five minutes. I don't know because so you should be grateful that yeah. you were able to talk, my friend. See, he could tell me that. Anybody else? I'd be like, nah, fuck you. You should be yeah. you know super saying? grateful you were Hell able yeah. to talk. Because the power from the quad father. No, nah, yeah, because I like to talk, and, and man. You should be super grateful yeah. in the position you're yeah. in, my friend. Because I was... And even though I wasn't talking to people, I was bitching at them, man. Yeah. Because <laughs> that shit... Yeah. I mean, you could have been like me. Yeah. I mean, that if that bullet decided to go up instead of stay where it was at, you know... You yeah, could've I could have got hit in the head. You, you, you could not, not even the head. You could have just been paralyzed like me. You know, you could have. No. All you, all I can move is my neck, my friend. That's it. All I can move is my neck. It's good thing it's, I'm uh, not like you. Then it. No. I'm not. I'm not saying it like that. Nah, and I'm it's not fucked up to say, but man, it's I'm a, not, and I'm not trying to like compare. I'm just. Nah, I'm nah, just, nah, I feel just. It's a harsh reality, man. We got a harsh reality so, and shit. Well, what you what know, I'm man. trying to say is like. I know you you probably got a lot of problems like outside, right? Yeah. But be grateful that you can go outside and you can take a nice breath of fresh air. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because that's one thing I miss terribly is yeah. breathing and I can't. You know, but you, you can. Yeah. And and you're paraplegic, right? That's what you're the um, your Asia test, uh America American spinal cord. Injury Association, your Asia test, you're a uh, lumbar? I'm a T4. So thoracic. Okay, so I'm, a, I'm a Cuban. Okay, so, T, so you're a T4. So I'm a C1. Yeah. That, that, that mean, that's the end, man. Usually C1s don't live. They die. Yeah. In the car accident or at the hospital. I didn't die. But I'll tell you one thing. I go through fucking hell every single day. But... I make what, the what best pain? of it. I have pain in my throat. I have nerve pain. It's like it's called fibromyalgia. Uh, what on your throat? Yeah, the nerve pain. I get a lot of yeah. nerve pain on my back. My yeah, but so let, let, let me let me let me finish. All right. So yeah. so I mean, like when you, you you were probably like you know, let's let's say you uh, when you first got paralyzed, you're like this sucks. I hate my life. I want to die. Right, that's probably what happened. Yeah. Am I correct? That's how I was too. Same way, you know. Yeah. It's like fuck this. Like I can't do anything. I just lost my girl. Like I, I literally couldn't do anything, bro. I was in a hospital. I lived in. I lived at rehabilitation in Stuve, Chicago, for a year. A year in the hospital. How long were you in the hospital? Not a year. Okay. Nah, I don't. And you Shit. know you and you know about those girls that come in and they have to take your vitals and all that yeah, stuff. Yeah, let them answer your question. No, I was in the hospital for not a year though. But uh, shit, I couldn't even tell you. What do you? No, a month maybe. A month. Yeah, probably. I would have died for that. So be grateful for that. Okay, now Damn, you're I don't right. even know. I got you're, shit. You're, you're right. Like no one can say it other than me. Because like, so I'm gonna take full advantage to drill your ass no, right no, now. It's not, it's not, it's not that. It's not that. It's not that. No, it's not that. It's just some nah. people tell me, some people have the audacity to say, Oh, I know what you're going through. Mm. Like, no, you yeah. don't know what I'm going yeah, through. Yeah, you ain't been able bodied you know? and then disabled and shit. Yeah. yeah, I'm disabled. I can only move my head. You're disabled. You can move the, top, the like, half of your body. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, so. Just, like, from me, like, for a person that wasn't, like, doing anything fucking wrong. I mean, I'm not saying you were doing anything wrong. You were doing you, you know? Yeah. Just be grateful, because it could have been a lot, a yeah. lot worse, you yeah. know? If, if there's anything yeah. I learned from Max when it comes to people that, that hurt themselves, um, you know, like, a lot of people that end up paralyzed is because they're going fucking 100 on their motorcycle or... You know, they're doing something extreme and they yeah. get themselves into an accident. So then in that mourning process with their new yeah. life, in the back of their mind, they could kind of accept it like I did this being stupid. You know, but you woke up to it. Yeah, that's and what Max I'm saying. Woke up well, to they, 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 that's what fucks me up. It's just like, I know I should be grateful, but I don't feel like that. Yeah, it's, it's harder for you guys because... 
that shit was brought to you. Because, man, yeah, then that shit sucks, man. That, 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 oh, the pain fucking is horrible, man. It's a lot of stuff. The fucking lift my arm up. You know what I'm saying? The sleepless right. nights. Just lift it up. Just lift my arm up. Lift it up. Come on. Lift it you know up. what I'm look, saying? Look. Look at this. Yeah. <laughs> Do you, do, you, do, you, do you see I that? Know. Do you see it? And it still sucks being us. No, no, look, look uh, at me. No, I feel no, you. Okay. No. I lift your arm up. <laughs> he said, fuck you. <laughs> yeah. Nah, I'm, you know what? Yeah, I'm grateful. I could, I'm grateful I could do that, but I'm still not. I, man, it's still hard to accept. Huh? I feel like time. I, don't, I will never that. accept it either, so that's you don't true. have to accept that's it. It's just hard to you accept. You live your life to the fullest. You know what I'm saying? I can't fucking, can't bust a nut in there. I keep thinking about that shit, man. Yeah. But you got to think about things that are more important than busting a nut. You know, like, yeah, it's good every now and then. I I, I miss sex too, bro. I, this happened when I was 20 years old. I just, like, started. Not just started. Like, like you know what I mean? You know, like, Shit. I'm young I as hell. I miss that. Like, I'm, that's the first thing I, I said to my brother. I got looked at. I was like, man, nigga, I ain't gonna get pussy again. Yeah. I was dead ass wrong, man. That's how I felt too, 100%. I, was I miss busty the nut. I don't miss pussy. <laughs> <laughs> that yeah. sounds, X talks about it all the time. And it sounds oh, fucked yeah. up to say, but man, no, but X has said it before. But like, On okay, the so let's, let's let's take Boston not out of the way. What do you really miss? And what are you gonna do huh? to improve? I your miss life? being athletic. Man. I miss running around. That's what I miss too. I miss playing basketball. You know, just running. This I used to be a runner. Yeah. And I was in the army and. I don't know what you're talking about. I miss, I miss being able to run from the police. Man. I what challenge you. I challenge you to get your upper body crazy swole. Like I challenge Shit. you to like yeah. climb rope. Yeah. And you know I, something. Like that's what I would do. Honestly, I would be like Joe from Family Guy if I was in your position. Like I fucking you envy you. I want to let you know that you could climb up the steps, right? With with your arms. Yeah, I could. I feel that's like what I was saying. I could go up the steps. Like I could go up these steps. It's a pain in the ass, but I could do it. Have you tried? Yeah, have you tried doing any uh, any handicap sports? Yeah, I don't know. We've had somebody come on, Chuck. Shout out to Chuck. Yeah. Yeah. Shit, I'm surprised I'm doing this. And I told man, I'm surprised I didn't fucking cry telling you the story. And I haven't told this story yet. Well, we appreciate you. Love I didn't even tell my love story love. at uh, to my therapist and shit. I mean, and it's, now it's for the whole world to see. My we therapist don't even know this story. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's, we appreciate it's, you, dog. It's you a good really story, you know. It's a it's a, a story that's going to impact and help people. Think about you know? those people that are in a similar situation as you that don't have a therapist, that don't even have a family in their support system, and you know they're just fucking giving up. You know, maybe they'll tune into this, and maybe just maybe you'll you'll you can, a sliver and, of hope. and you can still be athletic. You still have half your body. Yeah. Yeah, at the end of the day, everyone could try to tell you the right answer, but the biggest battle is within your own head, yeah. And, yeah. and the bigger battle is backing that with action, yeah. and I, I, I truly believe that time heals most wounds, and one yeah. day you're going to wake up and be like, yo, I want to do this, and you're going to do such and such, and you're going yeah. to find a different brand of happiness. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe, I don't know, I couldn't tell you shit. Right now, I still feel we'll like... on the podcast yeah, again, man. Yeah. Your, your yeah. second episode, Leo's second episode, he's about to jump on like, yo, I'm doing this, and I did this, and in the stands, there was a bitch, and I told her to <laughs> oh, sit on shit. my lips, and, <laughs> and oh, he's going to be lighting another oh. joint, bigger oh. than the last yeah, one. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to be walking. Yeah. Shout out to Neuralink. Shout yeah. out to yeah. Neuralink. Yeah. Yeah, shout you and Max going to walk yeah. together. Was Neuralink? It's uh, Elon Musk's. Uh, go ahead, Max. Tell him. You don't know what Neuralink is? No, it's, a brain, it's basically a brain chip that they're, they're um, gonna put in your brain yeah. that allows you to walk again. They're oh like, shit! I'm so in. It's gonna help. You. It's <laughs> gonna help you walk again. <laughs> who is it, Bill? Uh, who the is owner it? Owner of Tesla, the creator yeah, of Tesla. Elon. Yeah. Oh, let me in, dude. What's so up? Just, <laughs> just, but he's not gonna do a guy like you for a while. He's only no. doing upper, oh, upper, upper injuries. So really? Wait, shoot him down. <laughs> shit, nigga, you ain't got his number. <laughs> Wait, uh, shoot him down. But yo, we also shoot him you, a text, man. If you tune into our fiftieth episode, we know we interviewed someone named John who's been running a a study for twenty years. Yeah. Sanctuary monkeys. Long story short. Um, he's starting human trials at the end of this year or next year. 
Yeah. And yeah, he's well, they're going. Paralysis. They're going to start trials. Too. You heard of Rewalk? What's that? Rewalk guy. They got this exoskeleton. That it yeah, that's, you. that's yeah. that's you don't want to know. Nah, but why? That exoskeleton. So you know about just, it. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's just like a robot to help you walk. It's like nothing. Pretty much. It's, it's like they yeah. strap you with this. Yeah. It's, it's like, like artificial legs. So it's like moving. But no. you got to be a T. You can't be a T4. You got to be a lower than a T4. Yeah. You know, I don't qualify because I'm too high up. Oh, damn. So um, you miss busting not most out of everything? Shit. One thing. Uh, everything? Is I, don't, that, I wouldn't is say, that, I wouldn't say the, the most. The so most. What's the most you miss? Shit, being able to use my legs. Being able to fucking the biggest climb thing shit, I miss man. Is breathing. I just yeah. miss breathing. Alright. Yeah. Different perspectives, right? Yeah. Yeah. Sure. That's true. Does the um, the the fuck is the one the cough assist vent give you more air? Yeah. It simulates breathing for you, like it, yeah. after you, it's an artificial cough. Think about. Can it. you have like a like a euphoria type machine, like where it just like mimics you fucking like having like a sprint, like shit. Fucking, no, no. <laughs> I know. Can't I don't hook up a bong to that motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> no, you shit. can't. I mean, well, no, you're I'm nice, s- but no, you can't. You're like, don't hook up no weed to that. That fucking head rush, man. Do it again. Yeah. <laughs> That's yeah, it's just so like I I know I'm just some guy you met today, but you know be be grateful for the little things you have, like to be able to be here right now, to be able to hold that mic right now, to be able to drink water on your own. I know there's things that have been taken away. The biggest thing that hit me when I when I first got injured, I didn't know what they were doing, but they were doing something called a bowel program, and I didn't know what the fuck that was, and yeah. then I'm like. You do what? You have to do what? You know, but and I couldn't even talk at, at this time. They were like, oh, we're just, you know, just getting results or whatever, you know. And now every day I get a finger up my ass yeah. and I freaking have I to do the same shit. You know. Yeah, you know. It sucks. Yeah, but I mean, that's life. have that's lube life. and shit. And that's life. I'm like, what the fuck? That's life. That's what you have to do so to like, get through it. Do you have assistance or do you do it yourself? I do it all myself. <laughs> Yeah, I, I I bet Max would prefer to do it himself if he could. Yeah, hundred percent. I bet. I don't, shit, I don't like man. show and tell. It's weird. It's like it's like everybody's show and tell. Eric's pushing on my stomach, getting gas out of me. It's weird. It's the weirdest thing. And uh, what are your bladder? Do you use a catheter? Or do you uh, have a super pubic? Or the do catheter, you, not self cath. Self cath. Yeah. Okay. It's like every four hours. Yeah. Yeah, I see, I see what you're going to say. Straight cath. Straight cath. Okay. So, yeah. No, yeah, I, I got to be on it because I'll piss myself. Oh, okay. No, exactly. Dang. Exactly. And then, like, I, I saw you lifting yourself up. You were giving yourself a pressure break because you yeah. don't want to get a sore. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, there are things we have in common, 100%. And uh, there, are, there are things you got to be grateful for. You know, there's things I have to be grateful for, but like, no, just, that's just, true. But you just, you just gotta. I'm not like, there yet. I get it, but you just gotta tell yourself like, what do I want to do, and what am I going to do that's gonna help me, and it's also gonna help other people. Do you enjoy being on this podcast? Shit, uh, I don't know, I guess. Uh, like, I'm wondering if you would like to join us for other other interviews. Not about you, but like if we got another interview and, and oh, you, yeah, sit, that's and you cool. sit where Elias is and you ask them questions and shit. Oh, no, yeah, that's you know, cool. Because like it. it sounds to me that, that you just need something to do with us. You know, maybe. Yeah. Maybe. Something to get your mind off things. I don't know. Fuck yeah, man. I want, um, I want, there's a lot of people. It could be. That I, can, can, I couldn't tell you. I just, shit. I want you... I just feel the way, you know what I'm saying? That's how I feel. That's what I can tell you. Leo, I, I want you to ask questions for me. Ask me any question. Like, you can ask me literally anything. Shit, I don't know. I don't know what to ask. Ask him some funny shit. Ask me, uh, ask me ask, anything. You ask me serious shit. You, you guys already talked me. about eating out together. You know, ain't no, ain't no boundaries what? for these questions. Uh, eating pussy and shit? You like eating pussy? <laughs> So, That's the first bell. You're gonna so ask I mean, me. I, so I mean, I do, but I mean, like, 
like I, I miss fucking more obviously but yeah, yeah it, it's, I do it's fun I guess you know for the moment but that but it's weird at the same time because they can't yeah. go crazy because I got this on my neck yeah. you know oh. so they can't like go crazy so you're lucky in that yeah. aspect I as feel well you. I'm little though I got a weight limit too so I, I gotta be better. <laughs> no, it can't be too like, heavy, man. I, I gotta I, tap out after a while. Gotta, nope. You can. The thing is, you can lift up on that. I can't. I yeah. have to deal with that weight, and it fucking sucks. So, next question. I feel you. I feel <laughs> One you. One time, Max almost suffocated under the booty. Oh. Uh, yeah. Ain't, I, ain't that a problem? I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't mind dying that on the like podcast that. Podcast like that. Podcast anymore. So he knocked out his tube. So he had to bite down to get her off. Oh, yeah. So I did. <laughs> Damn, Damn it. What happened? Was she bite he the almost coach. died under the... Oh, yeah. <laughs> Damn. Literally, I, fucking literally Eric's I got over this here. girl. Shut the fuck up, man. I, I got this girl. You know, she came over. Like, she started sitting on my face. After, I, tur- I turned on, like, the music. I had, like, nice lights on, you know, and stuff. Like, you know, and she knocked the vibe, up. And she was just fucking ramming my face. Oh, and see, like, man. And I was like, yes, <laughs> bull, yes, yes, like yes. It. Oh, my God. Yes, yes, yes. And then all of a sudden I hear, Damn. And I'm like, fuck, I'm not breathing. Literally oh, ran me know. like to the point where my headrest just came off like for real. Like, and, and, what? You know, yeah. and what you do? You bitter? No, like I, I was trying to click. So my thing is And that's, that's what, what I try to, to check do. On yeah, yeah, that's what I try to do. But I couldn't do she that. She thought that was your trick, and she's no, like, oh, no, shit, he knows no, what he's doing. No, he knows what he's doing. You can't hear it because it's like a suction. No. It's like a type of suction. Oh, you know shit. I mean? So you can't hear it. So I'm in this post and I'm like, fuck. And I'm was like, I'm going to bite. I'm going to bite. I'm going to bite the pussy, man. Fucking bit her, and then she came, she came off. We, I know the song we were listening to and everything. It was 21 Little Uzi That's Bird. That's so funny. You know? Damn. Who was it? That's so Matt? Funny. Or 20 more. Or whatever. No, no, Luke, Luke, Luke came in. Luke so what she did she, she she hooked you up? She hooked. No, she didn't hook me up. She didn't know. She was fucking having an orgasm oh, on my shit. face. So yeah. I bit her, and then she was like, what the fuck? And then like Luke came in, and uh, he put the vent back on oh, me. Oh, damn. And I was so, like, I was like. <laughs> <laughs> Shout outs to Luke. So, so, uh, Luke. Uh, he, he, he's so, on the second so, episode. Uh, Luke. Shit. Think, think about, there's two things I think about. I was like, I was like, it's good job. There's Man. two things I think about with his story. Tell one, one that's if, a wingman right there. Bro. If he died, you gonna get high fives in heaven. First of all, <laughs> yeah. That's that's my first thought. Second thought, if you die, how's the girl gonna react? <laughs> How is she gonna live with her life? She knows she just killed like, somebody. Beep. She got that fire she's pussy. Never, <laughs> she's never gonna she let really, anybody just to make she going beep 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 beep. beep, 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 beep. beep. Man, you don't even know my wop kills yeah, people. Yeah, that's oh what I'm saying. God. It might be the opposite. Nah, yeah, she's going to be traumatized, bro. She I murdered like, somebody. I'm like, I want to die like that. sexual act. Man. Sex okay, will never okay, be the so same so for her. So, so do you think she'd be traumatized even though, like, she, would, she wasn't a prostitute? Okay, so, like, do you yeah, you think didn't have to say that. that what I'm saying we is she was just a normal shit. person. Now I know she's a prostitute. She, yeah. <laughs> she was, What's she her was number, just a normal person. How much? How much? <laughs> she was just a normal person, but she was yeah. hot as fuck, and I was yeah. Like, prostitutes you know, is normal people too. No? I guess people. she was because I paid for her. But anyways, like I, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, like I. <laughs> no, no, for real. no, I, I oh, did, but she wasn't like a prostitute. <laughs> Uh, no, that's, that's fine. It's just so funny. I don't know if you heard yourself, but you said she's not a prostitute. I said you didn't have to say that. Now we know she's a prostitute. Now we know she's and a prostitute. Well, I paid for it. Fine. Like, what do you mean? <laughs> I, got, hey. I paid for her services. Okay, she was in. But like, as long as they hook your two back up, you're good. Yeah, you're good. So she hooked the two up, and she's like freaking yeah. out. I'm like, I'm like, chill. I'm like, chill, relax. Okay, and then we we started up five minutes later again, and I turned down. The because uh-huh. so, they couldn't hear me because I turned down the music but my friend Luke apparently has like super hearing or something because man shout out to Luke man that's a wig man he was yeah. able to save my life and he saved my life at the did he get you the escort before. or whoever no he was, pro- he was oh, probably like shit. looking at, at the doorstep like 
Now, like the door is like creaking. No, like, no, like, I, I, I was like, like shit. Let me I, get next. He, he oh, said, yeah, right? he saved my life at the strip club too a few times. Like I was at the strip club and girls used to do stuff for me, but and uh, the tube would come out and I'd start clicking and the girl would know what to do. You and don't know Luke what to do and shit. Dead. Especially no, the young girls. No, I, know what I to always do. told the girl and they would always be fucked up on coke or, or, or fucking like, yeah. you know, drinks or whatever. But I always you told know what? the girl, I'm I'd, grateful. Be like, I'd be like, I'd be like, listen, if I do this, if I do that, you gotta let them know the sign. Get my brother or get Luke. Straight and then up. they'll be like, oh yeah. God, then they do it, do it, and then I would just go out for reckless back then. I mean, I, I didn't even. You, do you know what an ambu bag is? What? Hell no, he don't know what an ambu bag is. He doesn't have a trick. Uh-huh. About 20 seconds ago, you said you were grateful for something. What'd oh, for not getting high. In that moment? No, I just period and shit. Oh, nice. Like, if I gotta be grateful for something, I feel like I'm grateful for not being high, for my sobriety. Oh, nice. Because nice. I got. Oh, oh, shout out to your sobriety, so you I got know. four years, one month, and I don't know how many days and shit. Dang, so as soon as your oh, accident yeah. happened, you just went cold turkey? I went cold turkey. Fuck yeah, man. Yeah, I oh. went cold turkey like a month. Man. I was under the impression that after your accident, you would probably do more. Like, yeah. like you ain't got to work, you ain't got to do nothing, you're just chilling in the wheelchair. It's tempting like a month. Like, I don't want to drive because of that. I'm not driving. Can you still drive? Do you have a, a handicap accessible driver's seat? I haven't tried driving. I think you can. You got hands. No, no, fuck that. My I haven't tried around. shit. My grandpa's basically a paraplegic. Yeah. And he, he got the brakes and the gas right here in one hand, and he got a ball on the steering wheel like this. I could drive. Look, look into it, bro. He knows he can yeah. drive, bro. Yeah, I don't really want to because oh. I don't want to drive myself to the spot. Oh, I feel you. Because I'm fucking... He knows he can drive. He just doesn't want to drive. But I got to. I got to eventually... You know yeah, you, you gotta face your fears and you know, like, yeah. fight the demons and just get through you're it. Done. And because when you drive, that means you're gonna be able to do much more. You yeah. Know? Like, um, I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying to think. Do you, uh, what, what do you play video games? Like, what do you like to? What do you like to do when I like to draw? You draw? Yeah, I do. I draw letters and shit. You could be a fucking tattoo artist. Good. I like it, but right now, man, that shit. It's what did hard you for do me. before? Did you work at all when you? Yeah, had, uh, cars. Cars? Did you have insurance? Like, did anything, or were you were you fucked basically? What you mean? No, well, we got a we got a, a mechanic shop. No, when you got injured, yeah. did you have insurance or anything? Or oh uh, no, I didn't have insurance. I had to get insurance. So you got insurance. Obviously, yeah, it's way more because you're paralyzed, right? You yeah. still have insurance, right? Yeah. Does the state, like, take care of you at all? Yeah. Yeah, they do? I got disability. Disability. Okay. Yeah. And, uh, is that doing anything for you or no? A little bit. I started yeah. working for him today. Today? <laughs> hey. It's Eliza's first day on <laughs> yeah, the job. Man. First day yeah. on the clock. Nice. Yes, sir. <laughs> yeah, no, I, he started working for me too, and he didn't realize that. I, well, he probably realized, but Eric brought him in, and like, I was paralyzed from the neck down, and he probably walked out the door like, "Damn, I'm lucky I can drive out there, drive, drive off." You know, yeah. I, was paying, I was paying a stupid ass DUI. Fuck yeah. that DUI, ain't nothing. Yeah, fuck, fuck that. that damn don't do drugs. Don't shit. do drugs. Yeah. Don't do drugs. Nah, straight up, don't shout do drugs. Out, shout out to being sober. And, uh, yeah. and uh, again, we thank you for, for sharing your story with us. That's what the podcast yeah. is all about. Hopefully we can reach people in similar situations and influence them, motivate them in any type of way. You know, so, uh, yeah, we appreciate shit. you again, Leo. I'll <laughs> definitely come back and talk about, you know what I'm saying, my drug use and shit like that. Hell yeah. Or even, like, any- or even if we're interviewing somebody else, you could be a, a third wing or if somebody else. Because I, I got, had a, uh, excuse me. I got a couple other people that wanted to talk about um, overcoming a heroin addiction. Yeah. And so, yeah. so maybe you'll be a good person to talk to if you can relate with them on a I don't sniff heroin way. for 16 years, bro. Damn. I've done a lot of other shit, too, besides that yeah. shit. That's just heroin. Do you, do you have anything to say to me or the people? Do you, do you think I was a little hard on you? Nah, hell no. Nah. So he, he, he was shotgunning you with questions. He was... Oh, I've been. Did you... I've been to rehab, shit, in and out of rehab. I've been to fucking... And so rehab, why? they got this rehab where they put you... They literally put you in a chair... 
And then they tell you all the shit that you've done wrong and shit. All your bullshit. That's a part of the rehab and shit. So they just, just sit there. Just drown you in your mistakes? All your bullshit. Wow. You're a piece of shit. You know, wow. you ain't shit. That's why you're here. What the fuck you doing? Getting high. Fucking idiot. You gotta give you a reality. Like, shit. how the fuck you hurting your parents? You know, stupid shit. Yeah. That's just one fucking part. Really? It's like... We're not, like, were you able to, like, move your arms and everything, like, normal when you were, when you first got paralyzed, or did you have to do physical and occupational uh, therapy? Oh, no, you know what? I had to wait on this one, because this one, uh, they had to do a surgery. I got, uh, I got, uh, I got two bars and screws holding it together. Dang. Yeah, yeah. look, I got, you, I don't know if you can see, but I got a nasty scar. Oh, we can I, get some footage of that before bro, we leave. I got yeah. a scar. The scar is two, it's two scars in one. I got, I got, a, I got two injuries. Like they opened it up twice, two separate uh, cases. So you, so you have. You so have I that. couldn't fuck so, you. I mean, like, so you had to work for that left arm. Man, that's right. Yeah, because they gave me a wheelchair where I could move it with just one arm. Right. So I couldn't and shit. And now look I forgot at you. about that. Now look at you. You're using a wheelchair with two. Yeah, they told me I wouldn't be able to straighten it out. Look at you. And look, you're doing Show it right now. Show, you know? Show him on the it's, camera. It's still yeah. a little crooked, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's something to be proud of. Man. Yeah. I know it's little. It's little for people Not like straight them, yeah. But that's something to be proud of. Like right now, my neck is killing me. Yeah. But I am um, I have no headrest. You know, that's something to be proud of. That's a little I mean, win It's a little Max. thing. It got yeah. to the point where like, I be feeling good. Like, I get a rush of dopamine whenever I see Max. Whether yeah. it's him getting in the van and turning and getting himself in the middle of the yeah. small-ass van successfully yeah, without yeah. scratching anything, I'm like, fuck yeah, man. Fuck you yeah, got it. Yeah, yeah. idea, bro. Yeah. <laughs> like, we, we had somebody over. He was showing us a new van. And I'm like, Max, I don't think you can get in, bro. Let me drive you. So I Yo. Drive. And then he's like, nah, let me drive. So he does it. You know, he tries, and I see him get in. He gets in successfully. He grazes the thing, like, a little bit, you know? And I'm like, and I laugh to myself, and I smile to myself. And the dude that brought the van is like, he looks at me like, like he notices me laughing, and he's like, am I missing something? And I'm like, nah, I'm just happy for Max right now, you know oh, what I'm yeah. saying? Why are you? And, and Max looked at me, he goes, I fucking did it. I did it. You know, I knew he was going to get a rush. Yeah, yeah. yeah, because they were like, you can't fit in the van. And I was like... Uh, I, get, I, get, I was like, uh, what? you know what? Let me let me try this. Uh, Look, what, uh, the van you got in the, the garage? New van. No, a different van. Uh, it was a smaller yeah, van. Yeah, newer van. And I, I was like, okay, so I like get in there. I do a little twist, drive you forward. Did it, bro. And I was just like. His spatial awareness is crazy. I'm, yeah. Yeah, I'm driving yeah, him yeah, myself, yeah. and I'm barely getting him in there. And he did that shit. Yeah. Did that shit. So I was like, golf clap for Cause, me. Because that, uh, yeah. that was the make or break. That was like, I'm not buying this van. Right, you can move your wheelchair? Yeah, dude. Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm just, you have to set me up with a joystick. Be lucky for that, too. You can get in your wheelchair and just move around. Yeah, I, shit. Uh, now that you put I it can, like that. Yeah. Yeah. So, so on this note, I'm going to talk to the people for a little bit. Happiness, sadness, anger, all these basic emotions, it's the same chemicals in everybody's brains. Yeah. It's just different reality and different circumstances. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So Max getting that rush of dopamine just by rolling his chair successfully in the van, yeah. some motherfuckers out there got to jump off a ramp with a skateboard to get yeah. that rush. Damn, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Some people out there got to hit on their motorcycle on the highway for 120 miles per hour to get that yeah. same feeling. You know what I'm saying? So like, bro... I don't know. It's about the little things. Little we things. say this on the podcast all the time. About it's about the little yeah. things. Because there's some people that are numb in life. Well, and yeah. those crazy people are the ones climbing cliffs with no safety gear just to get a rush. Just to feel something. You know what I'm saying? So right now, yeah. in, in you and Max's position, I know, it's, I know it's hard. And sometimes you could feel numb. But you're going to find yeah. these things that you could do to get that rush again. You're going to find something that fucking pushes you. Yeah. And yeah. You know, you're going to get that natural high. Yeah, you will. And, right. and like, yeah. and you went from one wheel to two wheels, right? One arm to two arms. So now yeah. you got two arms, right? You got things to be proud of. Oh, that's right. Everything. I went from one wheel. Yeah. Yeah. Now yeah. You can do that. Also, you can, you can breathe and you can get up and you can go somewhere. Like, for me, I have to get set up and it takes like fit, 10, 15 minutes to get set up to drive. And then I always have to have it in position. And then when I'm. Like at a restaurant, I have to take it off. You know, when if you want to go to a restaurant, you can just roll in. Yeah. So you got, you <laughs> I still don't like going to restaurants, though. My sister be wanting to take me, man. 
Why not? I'm just, I'm, I'm just saying, like, I feel you. That, I feel that's you. something you got to think of. I can still like, smoke. Yeah. Yeah. You can still spark yeah. up. Like, I, I can't spark it. Yeah. You can still play video games. You can still you do. Um, Yo, I'm barely, not big on video games. I'm going to get them there. Uh, I'm going to get them there. I'm big on Street Fighter, bro. Y'all like Street Fighter? Uh, I'm big on Street Fighter. Uh, it's funny I said you look like a Street Fighter character. For real, I like Street Fighter. That's about it, though. Uh, yeah. Right, so well, I mean, yeah. why, why, where you, you can you can even play guitar, like you can learn guitar. Oh yeah. You know, you know I, I mean? did give up on guitar. I was young though. I was young and smoking a lot of weed and shit. Oh, you, you have, know the basics. You have, you have shit, so I couldn't many, remember. Shit. You have so many. It options. was it was a purple guitar. All right, you have all right, so fellas. Many options, all right, fellas. We go. We gonna wrap up the episode. It's been an hour. Thank you, Leo, for opening up yeah, to us. You. And we yeah. we kind of. We, we blanketed Shit, you with thanks for having me. Yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. And sorry if I came off like, you know, like, be grateful uh, to this, be grateful to that, be grateful. Because honestly, I was just, I was a little envious. I was like, damn, I wish I could be stuck nah, in this guy's position. Yeah. Yeah. We're going we're gonna to continue to tell Leo what he could do after we, we wrap up this episode. But yo, yeah. do us a favor. Look in your camera right here. And tell the people your name and say you're living life to the max. Shit, my full name. I'm going to go with my full name. My full name is Leonardo Reyes Montenegro. Uh, say it again. Shit, Leonardo Reyes Montenegro. Uh, and what else you want? Say you're living life to the max. I'm living life to the max. Uh. Hey, uh, thanks for coming on the show. Everybody like and subscribe. And uh, we're out. Hell yeah. Oh, and give it up for Elias one more time for, for bringing Leo on. <laughs>